All right, today we're doing a lengua. That's uh, Spanish for beef tongue. That's right. I imagine most people are going to watch this just to see if I really cook it and eat it. But uh, it's true. I picked this up from a friend of mine the same way uh, I learned the uh, carnitas. And I make carnitas out of a beef tongue, too. Uh, my girls, my wife, my daughters all thought it was pretty disgusting until I, uh, I made them try it. They loved it. The flavor from a beef tongue is pretty damn good. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, start out, I'm going to rip off this plastic. And there you got it, a beef tongue. Now you know I wasn't fooling. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to it other than just show you what we've got here. Um, I'm going to cook this with everything on it, the skin and everything. That's going to hold the juice in it and keep it succulent. I'm telling you, this portion here, once it's cooked, is just as good as any prime rib, I'm telling you. Okay? So this is really simple. i got a crock pot here. All we're going to do is throw this bad boy in the crock pot. And I'm going to cook it on low for 10 to 12 hours. And, of course, the longer that you cook it, it's on low. The longer that you cook it, the more tender it's going to be. And uh, we'll just let that time go by, and we'll check on it here in about 10 hours. All right, here we are 12 hours into it, just about exactly. And uh, this thing, this langua, has been cooking extensively. Oh, man, look at that. I can just get that fork just straight into it. I'm not even pushing. Like the weight of the fork is just going straight into it. Wow. So we're good to go on this. Um, the thing is, though, is that it is so hot that I do not want to touch it with my fingers here for a little bit, so I need it to cool down just a little bit before I start cutting the skin of the tongue itself off, which is what we're going to do here next. So I'm going to let it cool here for just a little bit, and then we'll come back and we'll cut off the, the skin here, get right down to the meat. All right, she's cool now. Just going to show you the basics. Um, without taking 10 minutes to do it, but uh, all you got to do is take a, a good knife and you're just going to cut into the first little layer of the tongue, which is just the skin. So you can see it's really not too tough and it separates already completely from the meat. See how easy that is? It just comes right off. See that? No big deal. The meat completely separates. I'm going to take all of it off and then we'll just start chopping this up. All right, got it all off. All I did is flip it over and peel the rest of it off. It came right off. It only took about 20 seconds. You can see here, this is very tender. In fact, it's so tender if you watch, look, I can pull this apart. Okay? It's more tender than a prime rib. It is insane how good this stuff is. And all you got to do is just separate the meat. I'm not cutting through it. As you can see, I'm just pulling it with the tip of this knife. Like a beef roast. Look at that. Isn't that great? Now here you'll start to cut just a little bit, but it's just some tender stuff too. I'm going to do the whole thing like this. And dice this main portion of the tongue into pieces. Okay, exactly like that. That's how you want it. Nice even pieces throughout the whole thing. As you can see, it looks like just a shredded roast. It's no big deal. I mean, everybody, you know, just the idea of having a lengua, having a beef tongue, just freaks everybody out. But I am telling you, <laughs> this is as authentic as it gets. These are going to make some excellent tacos. And I'm going to do it carnita style, like another video that I've done. So I'm going to rush it so it's not, you know, just a repeat of what I've done before completely. So... Let's take this to the stove here, here in just a second. Just, but just to show you, over here is the fresh veggies that I've got. Some scallions, cilantro, uh, jalapeno pepper, and some lime. All right, I've got a hot skillet already, and I'm going to do it on a, on a high temperature, between medium high to high. And I just want to sear this real quick. It doesn't need to be cooked. It's already been cooked. Now, just enough oil to just evenly spread across the bottom of that pan, not too much. I don't want it completely greasy, but I do want 
the syrup. Real nice. All over the edges of this meat. There we go. I've just got a couple minutes of that. I've tossed it. I'm getting a nice good crisp on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw in the garlic and the veggies I planted out. The cilantro, the scallions, and the green pepper. Jalapeno, that is. And the lime. That's key. It goes all the good. Get the garlic in there. That's probably a couple cloves worth of fresh minced garlic. See, there's some good sear, some good color. Now we're going to salt the crap out of it. And I mean salt is key on there. I don't usually like to go salt, but for this kind of meat and that cheap meat, when I did that cochetta de res, it needs it badly. I'm going to go ahead and kill the heat because it's seared enough, and I'm going to squeeze this line all over it. Turn it inside out. Throw it in there with it. One more. That's the best way to get all the lime out of there. Unless you've got a squeezer. All right. There, we're good to go. You can see. Perfect. Let's put together a couple tacos. I like to start with just some plain rice, chipotle style. You don't need a whole lot on there. Just a little bit because we're going to load this up. Here's the meat. Definitely plenty. There we go. I like some tomatoes. Cheese and some sour cream. <laughs> I can get it to stay in there. As you can tell, the sour cream is definitely cold. And there you have it. That's pretty much the good. Lengua, beef tongue, carnitas.